All right. Uh, Sheila is called 1890 which uh, I'm delighted to hear. Sheila, welcome to the programme. Your view, please. Hello, George. Thank you for having me. My view would be would to bring back Senator David Norris. To my, in my view, he's the only one for the presidential election. Yeah. And I, I have a few reasons. And I don't see why he couldn't set a precedent as well. Yes. Never been but, done before. Yes, but, but, I mean, do you not think that he stood down because he felt he couldn't be president having, I mean, having written the letters he did, uh, in, in, uh. Yes, in 1992. And I feel the letter he wrote was a very small thing as far as I'm concerned compared to what some politicians have done in the past and have got away mm, with. Sure. He, he, um, he's apologised and I, he did not do the crime. All he did was use headed paper. Yeah, but but I mean, he did. He decided to resign because, and and I mean, I happen to agree with you that he would mm. have been an outstanding candidate, but he mm. resigned because he knew effectively he couldn't get elected. Um, he felt he probably wasn't getting anywhere because he wasn't just knocking on doors. He was literally trying to kick them down. And as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't right what was happening to him. He was being refused everywhere. Now, people or councils have their own reasons. But as far as I'm concerned, David Norris should not have had to go through what he went through okay. to try and get onto the ballot paper. If if Ireland is a democratic country, he should be on that ballot paper. For someone who has been in politics and world humanitarian rights for so many years, what, for 30-odd years, he shouldn't have had to fight so hard. Okay. Now, yes, he did stand down, George, but he probably, because he's such a gentleman, he probably thought he was doing the right thing. Right. If people have a look at his Facebook page, there's still over 50,000 people that still want them to okay. be tested. All right. Well, we'll wait and see. Uh, Sheila, thank you for calling. It's an interesting thing that Sheila would talk about 50,000 people wanting Dave, uh, David Norris. Apparently, there are now 5,000 people uh, want uh, Irish citizen Martin Sheen and the Hollywood actor uh, to run. I mean, it's extraordinary. Uh, there you are. Uh, so... Uh, Owen and Mead is going to vote for Dan because uh, he he thinks that the whole thing is a joke. Well, of course, you're wasting your time voting for Dan at the moment because she's not uh, a candidate. And Sharon agrees with Sheila David Norris for her. Uh, well, Frank in Sligo, by the way, wants Terry Wogan, although there's a big push now uh, for David Norris. A lot of people texting in about that. But prefer, if you don't mind, uh, tell me uh, what annoys you about work. And uh, we, uh, Anne wants to start to bring back, back David Norris movement, which I don't. Somebody said Bob Geldof, Daisy, says his mother wants uh, Bob Geldof. And... Uh, Bob Geldof says, Paul, they were both the emails to me and uh, that's who they wanted as president. And a gorgeous man, but I just know he wouldn't be remotely interested in the presidency, but recommended by uh, Mirish Okeja is Peter McVerry. What a wonderful man, um, but the presidency wouldn't be his bag. You're laughing.